Navy Federal Credit Union is one of the biggest credit unions in America and plenty of people like banking with these guys because of the amazing benefits that they offer. And just to name a few of those benefits real quick so that way you guys have some kind of understanding of what Navy Federal Credit Union is about is they offer high limit credit cards, no money down mortgages, low interest rates, and plenty of other amazing things. But some of those amazing things Navy Federal Credit Union will not tell you that they have. So in this video I'm going to be going over five things Navy Federal Credit Union will not tell you but you should probably know. So make sure you watch this video to the end so that way you don't skip out on any valuable information that can help you out. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Ish Sanford. Welcome back to my channel, Just Money. For those of you that are new to my channel, Just Money, I pretty much go over financial related topics such as personal and business credit, real estate, and other financial related topics. So if that's something you're into, then you're probably going to want to consider subscribing. But without further ado, Let's get into today's video. So if you go to Navy Federal Credit Union's website, they do an amazing job telling you all the benefits that they offer. But some of those benefits that they offer, they won't tell you straight up that they have. You gotta do your own research or watch videos like this one in order to find more information out. So the first thing to start off with is that Navy Federal Credit Union will not tell you that they have their own internal credit score. And really quick, for people that don't know what an internal score is, it's pretty much the bank or credit union's little crediting system that they use. Inter Internal scores are different from your personal credit scores, but your personal credit score does play a huge role on determining where you fall on their crediting system. Now a question you may have is, why do I need to increase my internal score and why is that important? The reason why it's important to increase your internal score is because it helps you get higher limits on credit cards, it helps you get lower interest rates, and it helps you get approved when actually applying for something. Internal scores are good because you can have bad credit but still get a low rate like a 2% or something. Or you can even get a credit limit of over 20,000. Now Navy Federal Credit Union is a relationship-based bank, so the more relationship you have with them, the higher your internal score goes. Navy Federal Credit Union's internal credit score does range from 100 all the way up to 450. And this internal score is based off your payment history, whether or not you have a good debt to income ratio, how long you've been banking with them, and your personal credit as well, and a few other things. And keep note, when they look at your personal credit, they're gonna be looking at your TransUnion, so just a quick heads up. Also, if your internal score is lower than 250, then I personally would wait on applying for other credit cards, because you want to make sure your credit worthiness is where it should be, so that way you can be eligible for the best rates as possible. And to know what your internal score is, you have to apply for some. Something. Once you apply for something like a credit card, then they usually send you a letter in the mail telling you what your internal score is. And on that letter, it'll even tell you ways that you can bring your internal score up. And keep note, some of you guys will receive this letter, but sometimes it will not come with your internal score on it. And if you guys try to call and see what your internal score is, you can because they don't have access to that. I mean, in fact, some employees don't even know what that is. Some of them will even try to say they don't have an internal scoring system. You can, however, send them an internal message asking for your internal score. But that's a hit or miss depending on who you get. Quick story, one time I remember I was calling Navy Federal Credit Union and I wanted to get more information in regards to a pledge loan. And a lot of the employees I was talking to did not deliver the correct information that I was looking for. So I just remember that I had to call a few times so that way I get like different people so that way I can get the right information that I was looking for. And that's what you gotta do sometimes. So basically what I'm trying to say is if you send an internal message asking for your internal score, then just keep trying until that right person gives it to you because you'll get the information that you're looking for but it all depends on the person you get on the phone okay now moving on to the five things you didn't know about navy federal credit union here's number two if you're looking to start banking with navy federal credit union but you're not in the military or don't have any family members that are in the military then there is one more way that you can start banking with these guys without those things if you're looking to start banking with navy federal credit union but you are not in the military and you don't have any family members that are in the military then there's still one more way that you guys can bank when Navy Federal Credit Union still. For those of you that do not know, Navy Federal Credit Union has something called a household hack. And what the household hack is, if you live with somebody that banks with Navy Federal Credit Union, then you are eligible to start banking with them as well. As long as you guys have the same address, then that's all the proof that Navy Federal Credit Union needs. So again, if you live with somebody that banks with them, have them give you their access number and give the access number when applying to bank with Navy Federal Credit Union. And trust me, you guys want to start banking with Navy Federal Credit Union because they are arguably 
the best credit union in America. If you can, take advantage of all the benefits that Navy Fed offers and use them to your advantage. Okay, now moving on to number three of five things Navy Federal Credit Union will not tell you. Okay, now Navy Federal Credit Union has something called a credit limit migration. Another term you might hear for this though is reallocate or just transferring a credit limit to another credit card. But what a credit limit migration simply does is you can move your credit limit from one product to another. So pretty much what you're basically doing is you're migrating your credit limit to a whole nother card, or at least a portion of it. Okay, now to qualify for this credit limit migration, the credit card has to be an unsecured credit card. And the minimum is 10K in order to move your credit from one card to another. And also at least one year of good credit history from the card you are choosing to do the credit limit migration. Okay, now moving on to number four of five things Navy Federal Credit Union will not tell you. So Navy Federal Credit Union has a variety of five different unsecured cards that you can choose from. They have the cash rewards card, the platinum card, the go rewards card, the more rewards card, and the black flagship credit card. And these are amazing cards that Navy Federal Credit Union offers, but for those of you that do not know, you may only get three of these credit cards and all of these unsecured credit cards will have a credit limit of 50k all of them with the exception of the black flagship credit card now if you do end up getting the black flagship credit card the maximum credit limit on that card is 80k and also the black flagship credit card does have an annual fee of about 49 dollars however all the other credit cards that Navy federal credit union offers has no annual fees so i'm thinking since the black flagship card has a 49 dollar annual fee that might be the reason why they give you a maximum credit limit of 80k okay now moving on to reason number five of five things Navy Federal Credit Union will not tell you. So for those that do not know, you can actually lower your APR. If you have a credit card to where you kind of feel like you're paying high interest, then you can request your APR to be adjusted to a lower rate. By lowering the interest rate on your credit card, you will pay less in interest every month. And Navy Federal Credit Union will not tell you about this because they want to get the most interest out of you as possible. If you have at least 12 months of good payment history with the credit product, then you now have the opportunity to call in and request a lower APR. You can have like a 14% interest rate, but then after done requesting, that 14% interest rate can be an 8% interest rate. Just make sure your credit is good though before requesting because one, they will look at your internal score. And number two, your TransUnion score. And people tend to mostly only do this if they have a high interest rate on their credit card. And if high payments makes it a little harder for you, then you can request a lower rate from the lender. Credit card interest rates are not set in stone, so just by simply asking, you can get a lower rate. Maybe your financial situation has improved since you've opened the credit card, but your rate hasn't dropped yet. That now gives you a good case for a reduced rate. And if you have some kind of credit history with regular use of the card and on-time monthly payments, then that may also work in your favor. But that'll pretty much wrap up today's video, guys. So to sum this video up, Navy Federal Credit Union has something called a household hack to where if you live with somebody that banks with Navy Federal Credit Union, then you are eligible to bank with them as well. Also, Navy Federal Credit Union has their own internal scoring system, which ranges from anywhere from 100 all the way up to 450. And always remember to keep it above at least 250 for the best benefits as possible. And also, Navy Federal Credit Union does have something called a credit limit migration, where you can move one credit limit on one credit card to another credit card, but it has to be in within Navy Federal. And also Navy Federal Credit Union will allow you to lower your APR. All you have to do is ask. As long as you meet the credit requirements criteria, then you'll be fine. And last but not least, you may only have three unsecured credit cards with Navy Federal Credit Union. But if you guys made it to the end of the video, then I do truly appreciate you guys. We're at 3,346 subscribers. So I do appreciate all who watch. I do post every Sunday and Wednesday, 7 a.m. Pacific time. So be there. And real quick, if you guys want to learn more about business or personal credit, then I would definitely consider subscribing because that is what we do on this channel. We talk about high limit credit cards, how to get high limits, how to improve your credit score. We talk about some real estate and other financial related topics. So... If you guys are interested in any of that, then consider subscribing. My name is Ish Sandiford. I am also a real estate agent here in Southern California. So if you're looking to buy or sell or have any questions in regards to real estate, then I would be happy to help you out. Also, depending on the time you're watching this video, I will be a licensed mortgage loan originator. So if you're looking for help when you're trying to obtain a mortgage loan, then all my information will be in the description below. My name is Ish Sandiford. I will see you guys next video. Thanks for watching.